If you're anything like me, there was a time when you thought wearable tech was about to be the next big thing in consumer electronics. Then 2017 happened and now you're just jaded AF because instead of having a computer in your contact lens, all you've got is an endless sea of shit, inaccurate fitness trackers and smart watches that make Homer Simpson look like a freaking genius. So when I heard about the Baselet, a subwoofer wristband that promised to make you feel like you're surrounded by sound, I pulled in enough internet for today and went to bed. But then I found out it was $200 and I thought, hmm, this could be perfect fodder for useless tech over a hundred. So then, are their claims completely baseless? Or is this little device about to shake up the way you listen to music? The Ripjaws KM570 mechanical keyboard from G-Skill features full RGB, a simple design, Cherry MX switches, and more. Check it out now at the link below. The German-engineered baselet requires hardly any setup. Plug the sender into your laptop or phone's headphone jack, or dongle as it were, then plug your headphones into the sender. All the audio leaving your device passes through the sender, which routes the bass frequencies automatically to the IP44 rated bracelet over low energy Bluetooth. No pairing shenanigans whatsoever. The design is an understated matte black with a plastic finish that's subjectively okay, and a single LED indicator light with two buttons for adjusting the intensity of your uh, experience. But good design is more than skin deep, and Low felt the makers of the baselet cared enough to make the sender double as the unit's charger. And so to attach to the bracelet, you just magnetically snap it on, and the buttons are actually conductive contacts. It's an elegant idea, even if it only takes a slight bump to disrupt the connection. The only part of the baselet's design that stands out as flawed is the silicone wristband. It's pretty hard to put on, especially tightly like the instructions recommend. You should pretty much factor the replacement cost into your purchase. Okay then, so you've got your beautifully designed $200 vibrator strapped onto you, ready for the baselet's psychoacoustic phenomenon to trick your brain into thinking your whole body is being accosted by sound waves. So with your favorite tunes cranked, what does it actually feel like? Well, just about exactly what you'd expect. Your wrist, and by extension, part of your hand and arm, will vibrate along with the music. But, but wait, hold on, don't, don't click away yet. It's not like taping a, a vibrating cell phone to your arm. It's silent to the people around you, and there's variability in the feel of the bass notes being pushed out. Like, you can actually kind of distinguish a plucked string from a kick drum, for example. And, per the recommendation of the reviewer's guide, we gave it some more time. It's apparently supposed to take a session or two for your brain to adapt and merge the sound from your ears and the vibrations on your arm into a single experience. And I have to admit, my skepticism aside, it does in fact happen if you wear it for a little while, particularly with the intensity kind of somewhere in the mid-level. The bass starts to feel less localized and it becomes harder to distinguish whether what you're feeling is coming from the music or from the little trinket on your wrist, which is pretty cool. But that doesn't mean that the awareness that you're wearing a little subwoofer on your arm ever completely melts away. And, and to expect that might be a little unrealistic. Then again, there are some cases where having bass localized actually made a lot of sense to us, namely gaming. So cranking the baselet's intensity up to max and throwing on a first person shooter like Doom can actually leave you pretty shook. But we did find it worked best when it's on the wrist that's connected to your mouse hand. Or, thinking completely outside the box, you can strap the chest thumping beats directly to your thorax to really get your heart rate up. Uh, please bear in mind though that the bracelet is not recommended for people with pacemakers 
And also that duct tape sticks to chest hair really, really well. Finally, while we did find one guy online who likes to use his base lid on his tummy, we got our best results with the device above the waistband. Although, now that I think about it, it does come with this extra shorter strap. So. Anyway. The base lit can also add some value in non-headphone situations, like supplementing your base model car audio or keeping you immersed in your tunes as you putt around the house, and it's got surprisingly decent range. So then, I was ready to tear this thing apart, but as far as jewelry goes, it's neither the most expensive nor the most useless thing we have ever encountered, and my Initial skepticism and annoyance at needing to carry yet another frickin' dongle aside, it does make your music experience feel a little bigger. But with that said, unless you're already rocking a top-of-the-line audio solution, at $200, we just can't help but wonder if your money wouldn't be better spent on improved headphones. Squarespace lets you, yes, even you, Joan, Build an awesome website quickly and easily. You just use their cloud-based website creation platform and they've got tons of great tools like their logo designer to make it as simple as possible. And if you have any trouble, you just reach out to their 24 seven support via live chat and email and they will help you out. And all of this is just 12 bucks a month, including the hosting costs with a free domain thrown in if you buy Squarespace for the year. All of their templates look gorgeous and feature responsive design so your website will scale to look great on any device and every website includes a commerce module so you can sell stuff. Woo, pretty cool, right? So start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. Then, when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash LTT and use offer code LTT to get 10% off. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed. Maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there, we've got a link to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.